Love is recognized by the Holy Spirit, and the soul recognizes the Holy Spirit by peace and sweetness. Oh, how much we should thank God for loving us so much. Think, my dear brothers, the Lord gives the Holy Spirit to a sinful soul to know His mercy. To know God, wealth is not necessary. You just need to love your neighbor, have a humble spirit, restraint, and obedience. For these good deeds, the Lord will grant us to know Him. What in the world can be more precious than that knowledge, than to know God, to know how He loves us, how He spiritually educates us? Where will you find a father who would die on the cross for the sins of his children? Usually, a father feels sorry and heavy-hearted for a son who due to transgression, deserves punishment. He will pity him, but still say to him, You have done wrong and are justly punished for your deeds. The Lord would never say that to us. He will ask us what he asked the Apostle Peter, Do you love me? Thus, he will ask only one question to all people, both on earth and in heaven, Do you love me? And we will all answer, Yes, Lord, we love you. You saved us with your suffering on the cross and now you have bestowed upon us the kingdom of heaven. In heaven, no one will feel the shame that Adam and Eve felt after the fall. Instead, only gentleness, love, and humility will prevail. It will be a different humility from the one we humble ourselves with and endure reprimands, or the one with which we consider ourselves the worst. Then, in everyone, there will be the humility of Christ, which is incomprehensible to people, except for those who have known Him, through the Holy Spirit.